when you have a lateral pelvic tilt, does it matter which side of the pelvis is higher? In general, no, because the underlying pattern will always be the same. The left AIC pattern, whether you're a left AIC or a PEC, is still left side forward, right side back. Even if your PEC and both sides are forward, the left side is still forward more. So underneath a PEC, you're still a left AIC. So the underlying pattern is the same, regardless of whether the right side is hiked up or the left side is hiked up. That's why it doesn't really matter. You're still stuck on your right side, one way or another. But to me, the issue becomes, are you stuck on your right side with a decent right stance capability, or are you stuck on a right side that's dysfunctional along with the left side dysfunction? Because we know that when you're in a left AIC position, the pelvis forward on the left and back on the right. We know your right side is the stable side, the left side is the unstable side doesn't mean you're using your right side perfectly because if you were, you wouldn't be stuck in that position. But let's just say it's a less extreme sense of dysfunction. If the left side is higher, it's really one of two possibilities, and I'm going to show you what they are. When I put my weight on my right foot, and I'm on right stance, phase of gait, so this is the left AIC pattern, the right pelvis should be higher. That's normal. This is a normal, this is how people stand. This, this is someone who's just stuck in right stance, phase of walking. All right, the right hip is higher. All right, so right hip, angle down. This is completely normal. If you find that this person is standing here and the left hip is hiked up, it's one of two things. Either they're stuck, they can't get onto their right side properly and they can't get onto their left side properly. So they're kind of stuck in between. So that would mean that their left side and their right side are not working properly, which is not uncommon, it's very common. Or they are so far to the right that to, to try to get to the left, they tilt their upper torso to the left and that brings this side closer together. But the left side is completely completely compensatory. If that left hip is hiked up because of this counter lean to the left, it's probably happening through the left QL. It's not happening under normal, uh, normal muscular activity. It's all compensatory. So left hip hiked up to me is a little bit, is a little bit more problematic because it probably means that they don't have either side working properly. If the right side is hiked up, that's just a typical person who's stuck in right stance. That could be a typical left AIC, right BC pattern. If the left side is hooked up, is hiked up, they're probably something like a PEC, there's some, probably some pathology, uh, because you, you'd say, well, how'd they end up like that? Because that's not, that's not the normal position. So they probably have a stretched out hip, uh, hip capsule in the front. There could be stuff going on up here. Uh, there could be a lot of different reasons for that. But again, underlying whichever side is hiked up is still this left AIC pattern because it's built into us because of that bigger right diaphragm. You can't forget that this left AIC pattern is not a problem. It's only a problem when you don't have a right AIC pattern. This is left AIC, you should have a right AIC. But when you don't, you become one-sided. So the left side, remember left AIC pattern just describes a human being who is right dominant, which is everybody, because we have that bigger right diaphragm. Does not mean handedness. We have more muscle over here. It's easier to stand and breathe on your right side than it is to stand and breathe on your left side. When in a challenging situation, we're gonna choose the right side because it's more stable. Doesn't mean it's more stable functionally. It could be dysfunctional stability, but it's still gonna be more stable than the left. Now also, when we say posture, posture does not mean stand up straight. Well, it does to some people, but that's not what we're talking about. When you're looking at someone standing, you're looking at a snapshot of the gait cycle of walking because that's what we do as humans, we walk forward. So when people are at rest, when you're looking at them, you're looking at their compensatory activity, 
you're not looking at their actual structure underneath. You're just seeing the compensations. That's the important thing to remember is that uh, posture is how, we, how our brains position ourselves or position us in the environment in relation to what we're seeing, what we're feeling from the ground. That's what posture is, how our brain figures out where we are. Remember, your, br your, bl your, ugh, your brain is blind. It's requiring on vision and it's requiring sense of the ground. It's requiring pro proper mechanoreceptor sense of our joint function to tell us where we are in space and then how to activate our muscles going forward. So posture is not stand up straight. When you're looking at someone standing, you're looking at a snapshot of a sequence. You're looking at someone who's stuck. The brain doesn't know where they should be at that point in time if they're in one of these positions. It says all you have to do is get the natural gait cycle walking, uh, going again, and it takes care of the tilt. So it's not a stretching issue. It's not a strengthening issue as we tend to think about it. It is a restoring fluidity to gait mechanics, to walking, to forward movement is what takes care of that lateral pelvic tilt. So again, it doesn't matter which side is higher because the underlying pattern is still the same. It's just telling me, is this person in the normal pattern of dysfunction or a more extreme pattern of dysfunction? And that's really it.